Hi, second grade. Today we are going to be learning more about arrays just like you did last week. So last week you learned how to write repeated addition problems for arrays and this week you're going to learn how to draw an array from a repeated addition problem. And then we're also going to get a sneak peek at how arrays help you understand multiplication for third grade and looking at an array and writing a multiplication problem for it if you're up for that challenge. So let's go ahead and get started. So as I said, second grade math, we are creating arrays today. And today I want you to be able to say, I can create an array using a repeated addition problem to determine the number of objects in an array. And really what that means is you're gonna be able to draw an array based on a repeated addition problem. So first up, let's review quick, what is an array? An array are objects put into rows and columns. You add all the objects together in each row, as you can see here, or each column, as you can see here, to write a repeated addition problem. You can either add those rows together, as you can see further here, or add those columns together, which you can see further here. So that's a review of using columns and rows to write those repeated addition problems. Now, today we're gonna to be using boxes for arrays. So when you look at these arrays, are they showing the same thing? Now, when I look, I see that this array is cupcakes and this array is boring boxes. But I also see that there are three cupcakes in each column and I have three boxes in each column. There are four cupcakes in each row, and I have four boxes in each row. Each of these objects is showing me four plus four plus four equals 12, or three plus three plus three equals 12. So they are showing me the same thing. Now, how do I create an array when I look at a repeated addition problem? Let's look at this problem first. 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. Now we need to start by drawing our array with cubes today. So I have my first cube here. Now I need 4. So I have one group of 4. But I don't just need one group of 4. I need 4 groups of 4. I have 4 plus 4 plus four, plus four, which gives me this array that shows four groups of four, and I know that that equals 16. Now let's practice this together. If I have five plus five plus five, can you draw an array for this repeated addition problem? Go ahead and pause the video and give it a try. I remembered to draw my array with cubes. First, I started with one group of five. Then I added all three groups of five for five plus five plus five. And I got my array, which I learned five plus five plus five equals 15. Now, I could have drawn a different array. Maybe you drew an array that looked like mine. Maybe you drew an array that looks like this. The question is, are both of these arrays correct to show five plus five plus five? They are. This array shows three columns of five. I can count by five, five, 10, 15. This array shows three rows of five. I can count by five again, five, 10, 15. Both arrays show the same thing. Let's take a look at another one. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. Can you draw an array for this repeated addition problem? Remember to draw your array with cubes. Go ahead and pause the video and see if you can figure it out on your own. As I was working through this problem, I first drew one group of two. Then I knew I needed five for two plus two plus two plus two plus two. Then I got this array, which let me know I had 10 
total cubes in my array. Now, your array might not have looked like mine. Yours could have looked like this too. And that is correct. This array shows five groups of two. I can count by two. Two, four, six, eight, ten. This array shows five rows of two. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Both arrays co correctly show this repeated addition problem. Let's take a peek at one more. Six plus six plus six. Go ahead and pause the video and see if you can figure it out on your own. I have six plus six plus six shown here in an array, and I have six plus six plus six shown here in an array. Are both correct? They are. This one shows six columns of three. Three, 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 three. This shows six rows of three. We have three, 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 and three. So both will show me that six plus six plus six is 18. Now, are you up for a challenge? Arrays help us understand the foundations of multiplication. We can use arrays to write repeated addition and multiplication problems. When I look at this array, I see 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 8 or 4 plus 4 equals 8. I have four boxes in each column and I have two boxes in each row. I now know that four times two or two times four equals 12. Do you see how I looked at how many rows I had and how many columns I had? And that was my multiplication problem. Let's take a look at another one. This one, we have five plus five plus five, which I already know equals 15. I have five rows in my array and I have three columns in my array. Can you take a guess of what my multiplication problem is going to be? Five times three equals 15. If I add five together, three times, I get 15. Let's try one more. Two plus two plus two plus two plus two equals 10. We did this one earlier when we drew our array. I have five columns and two rows. Can you guess what my multiplication problem is going to be? Two times five. I added two together five times, which equals 10. Now, why do arrays help us with multiplication? When you look at a multiplication table, what does it look like? I think it looks like an array. Now, second grade, as you work this week, you have the choice to add multiplication problems and do some challenge tasks. If that is difficult for you, I really want you to work on practicing drawing arrays by looking at a repeated addition problem. I can't wait to see all the work you do. Good luck.